God that he would send preachers to you today so that you could hear the good news of the gospel. Because faith comes from hearing, and hearing comes from the word of God. Many people come to know the Christ, come to Christ Jesus, but not through my own power. They can only come to Christ through the Holy Spirit, sir. And I can't do that for anybody. I can only preach his gospel. I can only preach the good word of the gospel. Okay, what are you preaching? What are you, I'm, what's your message? I'm preaching the gospel message, sir. That apart from Christ, we can't do anything. Well, you, should be, you should preach it with a smile and a love in your heart. That's I'm, true. I'm, you know what, though? You know what the Bible I'm says about the heart, ma'am? No, I'm not angry at all. I, if I was angry, I wouldn't be here. Sir. I think you make a lot of people. I think you make a lot of people feel really bad. Well, about that's them, good. Though. They need to be convicted of their sin, otherwise they're going to walk towards the path of hell. I don't, I don't want people to go to hell, sir. That's why I'm here. I want you to know the truth. No. If I go to if hell, you, that's my thing. Like, why? But why would you want that, sir? Why would you want that for yourself? Well, why do you? Why does it matter to you? Like, because I, first. First and foremost, I love you enough to warn you of the truth. You Second, yes I do, I'm telling you the truth right now. I didn't condemn you, sir. I told you about your sin that you're in. You're already condemned, according to the Bible. You're walking toward a cliff, and you're going down a steep slope. Because you don't know that day that you die. Nobody knows the day they die. Ten out of ten people will die, though. And when you die, you're going to stand before God. And you're going to give an account of your life. Not just the things you've done, but your thought life as well. Hallelujah. But I can tell you right now, with a 100% certainty, that through Jesus Christ's blood, His death and resurrection, I've been wiped clean. When it washes me white as snow, the Bible says. And when I stand before God and have to give an account for my life, He's going to see Jesus Christ. He's not going to see me. He's not going to see the evil things I've done. He's going to see the blood of the Lamb that's wiped me white as snow. And that can be for you if you repent of your sins and turn toward Christ. Through Jesus Christ there's a hope, but only through Him, sir. Only through Him. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes. For the Jew first, and also for the Greek, as it is written, God. Hey. So, but we love you enough to warn you of the truth that you are headed for a place of hell. You can curse me all you want. We come here to give you a blessing, sir. We come here to give you a blessing and a hope in Jesus Christ. But you walk away. You walk away in sin. You walk away in pride. Sin, pride, pride gives way to death, and God gives grace to the humble. Thank you, sir. The Bible's pretty clear. All have sinned. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. All of us. I'm no better than you, like I said. On that day when you die, and 10 out of 10 people will die, think about it. Everybody will die. And that's the consequence of sin. The Bible says, the soul that sinneth shall die. That if you've ever hated anybody without cause, you've committed murder. That's your thought life that's being held accountable. That's a sin. And what is sin? Sin is the transgression of God's law. That's why the Bible says one lie will cast us into hell. One lie, bearing false witness. That's bearing false witness. We don't tell you these things because we want to scare you into the kingdom. We tell you these things because they are true. That God himself came down in the form of a man, his name was Jesus Christ. And then he lived his entire life sin free because we couldn't do that. And then, because he said to the people of the time who he was, they hated him without cause, the Bible says. They hated him without cause and then they crucified him. They nailed him to a tree. They nailed him to the cross. The Bible says, cursed is anyone who hangs from the tree. And unless you repent of your sins that we all know we've committed, and unless we turn and believe in Jesus Christ, we're going to feel that full wrath after we're judged by God. 
That's the whole reason that Jesus came. Jesus didn't come to condemn the world because the world was condemned already. But he came to save the world. He came to provide a way out. He came so that you and I could have a hope in him. But we have to repent of our sins. And we have to believe in him with all of our heart, soul, and mind. God is good. God is good. He is merciful. Thank God for his mercy. Thank God for Jesus Christ who came into this world to save sinners. Jesus said he did not come into this world to condemn the world because the world was condemned already. But he came to save the world, to save us from our sins. Friends, I don't want you to die in your sins. Ten out of ten people will die. We all have an appointment with death. And the Bible says that we are appointed once to die and then face the judgment. We will face God. He will judge our lives. Not just the things that we've done, but our thoughts and the things that we've said. Everything that we've said is written down. And we will have to give an account for that someday. And if we face God as our judge, we will be guilty. We will be guilty of breaking God's standards, friends. Jesus Christ is the one way, the only way that you can be saved. He is the only way that you can have your sins forgiven, friends. Turn to Christ and believe in Him. Repent of your sins. Jesus said, unless you repent, you will likewise perish. The Bible says that the fool says in his heart that there is no God. Why does the fool say that? Because he doesn't want to face his sin. He doesn't want to face that he broke God's commandments. I have no greater message than this, that Christ laid down his life to save sinners. And that if you repent of your sins and you believe on him with all your heart, soul, and mind, you can have eternal life through Christ.